Hello there. Welcome to On the Bright Side. My name is Daniel. I am joined by Ben. Hello there. Do a do a more Obi Wan hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Oh God, I cannot. Do you it. cannot. No. No offense, Ben, but that sounded like the worst really shit bad. I've ever heard. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as I said it, I cringed. Anyway, welcome back to the 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 father batch. Um, that batch. Woot woot. Last time, uh, we fell out of a cargo ship in orbit. What's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. I don't have much to say because we like just watched the last episode, but we we checked in with our with our dads and our daughter. So, and and we're doing missions still, but we're looking for freedom. If you're looking for freedom, uh, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That will set you free from whatever ails you. I, I promise this is not snake oil. Also, it is free to subscribe. And not many people do it. So, you'll be unique. Three, two, one, go. Oh, God. Scared me again. <laughs> Ruins of War. My favorite. Last time was the spoils of war. The sky is falling. All right, calm it down there, Chicken Little. The re should engage soon. There we go. Ow. Me too. You know what? This was a good plan. We are using an alternate mode of transport. My <laughs> have us crashing towards the upper forest region. Of crashing? Thank you. It's almost like I wrote this. I am Dave Filoni. David Filonifer. I had a friend named David who I was friends with specifically because that they had another D name. <laughs> that was kindergarten. Hogwarts <laughs> kindergarten friendship. Yeah. Once we get to the Marauder, we'll come for you. Roger that. Roger, Roger. Hold on. What did you say? Go, go, go. We. Ah! Uh, That's an issue. Ah! Uh, Are you okay? No! My left femur has been fractured by approximately 150 kilograms of pressure. Wow. So, Very specific. No. Let's go Looks like time. someone needs a back to tank. Wah, wah. Can we get a Star Wars sitcom? <laughs> like, the holiday special was kind of sitcom y. We don't talk about that. I want to talk about it. <laughs> Captain Wilco, the two from the castle must be in the city. The fuck is this? A butt plug? What kind of butt plugs are you using, Captain Wilco? Why does it expand? That's for me to know. <laughs> That's a way to do it, I suppose. We can't leave without the war chest. We don't have time. <laughs> I have time. Yeah, my god, you even have the strength to pick one up, let alone up fat. 90 degree surface. I feel like this was a theory back in the original season that she might be force sensitive. Uh, she probably is. Yeah, we'll she, be surprised. she might be able to pick it up. Com channels are being monitored. Uh, who's that? Don't move. I'm not. The name's Romar. Hello, Romar. Yeah, Sorry to say there's no shelter around these parts. I'm registering a heat source 200 meters west of here. I oh. suspect it is your domicile. That shelter. How did you take us there? Looks like I don't have much say in the matter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You don't. Ben? Yeah? Did you know that clones are cool? I did. That might be the best thing about this show. More clone stuff. Yep, I will agree. I'd stay away from that cursed war chest if I were you. Cursed? We need it. How? And it's not cursed. It was stolen. You think Dooku funded his war effort by only stealing from outside worlds? No. He uh, took from us. His own people. His quest for power that is wouldn't make sense. city is now buried in rubble. Let the Empire take it. The sooner they're gone, the better. And the same goes for you. No offense. <laughs> now, no offense, but get the me, fuck some of us out of my house. You're just gonna stand there? That's my job. I'm keeping an eye on you. Try that. What is it? Look inside. <laughs> it just blows up. <laughs> oh my god. It's not treasure? Oh, for blast's sake. It's a toy. Makes you happy. 
And believe me, what's a toy? The empire's growing stronger, and we're still doing nothing about it. I'll be back. I never noticed how Echo's helmet fits into his yeah his computer head. A separatist archive, not separatist. Serenian. We did exist before the war, you know. <laughs> we did not exist before the war. So, forgive us. That is kind of interesting that, like, you never think about clones that don't know what life was like in the galaxy before the Clone Wars. I'm, I'm a sucker for characters who can't... who were, like, soldiers all their life and they can't give it up. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like, uh, it's so sad. I want you to be happy. Uh-oh. Are we in business, or are we in business? Oh, we're in business. Oh, right. we're in business. <laughs> I like business. I make a pretty good tank. That would be your RPG class. Where's Omega? She was just here. Go. I will catch up. Will you catch up? I can manage. Can you manage? I don't know about that. I have a bad feeling old man's gonna try and help and then get shot. <laughs> they can't introduce new characters in this show because they'll just die. I know, right? Omega! <laughs> Maybe don't yell right now? Oh, uh, too late. Echo! Hi! Look, I've kept it full of the shiny stuff! Great! <laughs> Echo! Look at how many drugs I got! <laughs> Good one, Omega! <laughs> tech! You're in trouble now, Tech. Oh, God. The intruders are retreating to the Eastern Ridge. Reroute air support. We got company. How we got some people to fight. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh god. Oh. Alright, Tech. Now, yeah, take a nap. You're doing way too much. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, ah <laughs> We need to get the fuck out of this crate. It sucks ass. Omega, please! Now you have to apologize, Echo. Goodbye, war chest. I hardly knew her. Thought you might need some help. Thanks. But don't die, or I'll kill you. Uh. I will handle the ship. Y yeah. <laughs> Attack my guy. I, I mean, impressive. Now this is a cliffhanger. See, see last episode for cliffhanger philosophy. That won't be all right. You want to come with us, bro? Hey, kid. I'm guessing that's a no. Keep it. Wrecker's got a new toy. So does Omega. I know you all gave up everything because of me. Good thing we did. Might be fighting for the Empire right now. That's true. We made the right choice, Omega. I'd do it all again. There's your full house dad moment. Your failure to ensure the transfer of this cargo is not why I am here. I've come to address some inaccuracies in your mission report. Oh? You stated the would-be thieves you encountered were the rogue clones from Experimental Unit 99. Yet that is impossible. The oh. squad perished during the fall of Tapoka City, which is why a new report will be submitted. One void of information of Clone Force 99. I will not falsify an official report. I understand. Ugh. Yeah. That's punishable by death by the Empire. The Empire saw part 489. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. 
Okay. All right, Ben. That was episode two, season two of The Bad yep. Batch. 2 2 BB. In which we uh, kind of completed our first thing. In which, who could have guessed it? We did not get the war chest. I feel like Damn. knowing Star Wars, that was a pretty obvious outcome. Yeah. Now we have to go back to doing missions. Yeah. Which we were talking about, like, it would be cool to break away from that um, at a certain point. But for now, it's fine to do more missions. <laughs> I'm not gonna I, I am not gonna say no to like anything that they want to do with this show Tech was like the MVP of this episode yeah cause with a broken leg he did he did a lot my man took down a uh he took down a gunship with the turret pretty cool I feel like last episode I did we did a lot of speculation on where this show's gonna go and then this episode was just finishing last episode so, nothing happened, essentially, that that uh, aligns with that. But um, I was kind of interested in... Romer was his name? I was interested in what, like, he, what kind of data he, he had. I'm glad that he was a good guy, though. Yeah. And I thought, I definitely thought after you brought up that he might die that he was going to. Yeah, I'm like, he's... I'm glad he didn't, but I'm like, this is totally a character that that could very well just die for yeah. just the point of dying. He he taught some good lessons to Omega. Yeah. The entire universe is Omega's dad. <laughs> we can talk about Captain Wilco getting be betrayed by that guy who I forget his name, but I know he was in last season. I, I'm conflicted because... Uh, Captain Wilco and his and his squad did, did were pretty comp competent in yeah. finding all this. They were just up against the Bad Batch, which clones do be strong. Yeah, but Clone Force ninety nine do be stronger. Yeah, um, but he had to he had to pay for just like doing his job with his life, which is essentially the way that the Empire does things. It's like you either. You either follow the Empire's orders or you die. Um, that was the least profound thing I've ever said. That's like the most obvious thing, of course. I, here's what boggles my mind, Ben. Yeah. I mean, I know this is the early days of the Empire, but people get killed in the Empire so by the Empire easily. so many times. I know. How do you even have a uh, an empire to begin with if you're killing literally everyone for any reason? I mean, I guess you got a whole galaxy of people, which... Who even knows how, how big that number of population is? I have a fear in the back of my mind, Ben. Yeah? That people are going to be comparing every new Star Wars show to Andor. Yeah, that probably wouldn't surprise me. And I have a fear that people are going to be all like... Because one of the main things about Andor is that, like, uh, even just a small number of Empire people are scary. That's not the case with this show. And the reason for that is because we're following our superheroes. Which I would say is one of the main reasons why Andor and, like, Rogue One have different vibes than the rest. Because they're not superheroes. And I think I talked about that during Andor. There's, like, a very different vibe... The cartoons, which generally tend to focus on extraordinary individuals, have then Andor and stuff. And I think there's places for both in Star Wars. There's mostly one kind in Star Wars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Controversial opinion? All Star Wars is good? I wouldn't say all Star Wars is good. No, Most every single Star Wars piece. is good. <laughs> ben, you're telling me that Anakin's speech about why he doesn't like sand is is not oh no that is my fiction. favorite part of that is my favorite part of star wars that was at the end of like our first mission for the season besides the beginning of the last episode which i guess was another mission so you you know what i mean <laughs> next time i have no idea what's gonna happen but if you don't want to miss it 
you better subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to be notified of when the next episode comes out. And also while you're at it, you might as well like this because I, I, I mean, like, if you, if you liked it at least, or comment, both help me know what I can be doing better, or what you like, it's, uh, 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 bye. I hope that I can make your day better, and I hope that you continue to have good days. Until next time, take it easy. Say it, Ben. Take it easy. You don't always say it when I say be it. with you. We're doing two different bits right now. <laughs>